This video is the first of many that we're going to be calling our Easy Tips. These are shorter videos that are either going to be cut out from streams, longer tutorial videos, or just ones that we intentionally make to quickly get information to you guys. In this one, we are covering setting your Z offset, leveling your gantry, using the baby stepping or live Z adjustment that's in our firmwares, and then storing those settings to the EEPROM. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys enjoyed the easy tips that are going to be coming in the future. So at this point, I'm actually ready to set my Z offset, and all that means is we need to go to prepare, auto home. And if we go back out of the menu, you'll see our Z shows five. This is not included in your offset. So I'm going to go ahead and go to prepare, move axis, move Z, and press move one and we're going to zero that out. Now that that's zeroed out, you can press the button to exit. Go back up to move axis, prepare, main, and we're going to go to control now. Go to motion, probe Z offset, and now we need to grab a piece of paper. Personally, I found a business card works really well for leveling, so I'm going to use that. And now we're going to set our Z offset. I'm just moving the knob counterclockwise until it starts to grab my card. And we should have an offset of around two millimeters, which is what I have here. So press the button again, go back to control, and hit store settings. Go to main, prepare, and press auto home. So now our axes are homed again. So if we go back to the main menu and get back to our status screen, we can see Z is at five again. Except this time, when I go to prepare, move axis, move Z, move one. If I put my piece of paper back under and move it down five, it's grabbing the paper just like it was. So my Z offset is now set and I can begin printing. So right now I have my Z motors engaged and I'm actually purging out some old filament right now. So I'm waiting for this to purge. I'm going to check to make sure my gantry is level on either side. You can print leveling blocks, which are available in our firmware pack and on Thingiverse. Or if you have a pair of calipers, you can go ahead and measure it with that. And it's important to note you're measuring from the printer frame, not from the bed. So I'm at 134.28 on this side and 135.48 on this side. So I'm about one millimeter off. I'm just going to grab my lead screw coupler here and bring this down until I'm within one millimeter. And this is something you'll want to check. You typically do not want to have more than one millimeter between this side and this side because the sensor is a bed leveling sensor. It cannot compensate with the software and the readings to know how far out of level your gantry is with the printer's frame. So I've got my filament loaded, my Z offset set, and the bed is relatively level. My gantry is level with the frame, and I've updated my starting code in my slicer to the one that's included with the Easy ABL kit. At this point, I'm ready to start a print, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use the live Z adjustment in case you need to make any adjustments during the first layer in real time. So when you start a print, the printer is going to home X, Y, and Z. After that, it's going to take measurements on the bed. And 
And now it's going to wait for the heaters to get back to temperature. With our starting code, you'll see it do a purge line over here on the left. And then it will begin its print. Now my first layer is looking pretty good, but just so I can show you guys how to use the Live Z adjustment, I'm going to mess with it. So if I press the button twice, you'll get probe Z offset on the screen. At this point, you can make it closer to the bed by turning it counterclockwise or further from the bed by turning it clockwise. This is a really helpful feature because depending on your machine and the mechanicals of it, you might have to adjust this during your first layer. As you can see here, I'm actually running a skirt around my print so I can perform my adjustment on the skirt and not my actual printed part. So I'm gonna let this finish the bed level test and I'm actually going to squish it a little bit more which I can do by just turning the knob here. Now, if you find you're consistently having to use the live Z adjustment here, or baby stepping as it's also referred to, and it's the same amount, you can go ahead and press the button, press it again, go to control, and then store settings. Once you hear that confirmation beep, that means it's stored the changes and it will retain those changes on the next startup of the printer. I hope you guys learned something from this easy tip and you're able to now better understand how to set your offset and use the Live Z adjustment that's available in our firmware. This feature is available for all the auto bed leveling probes that we support, not just the Easy ABL. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy these little shorter videos that are gonna be coming to the channel so I can quickly relay information to you guys in small bite-sized portions instead of longer drawn out videos that maybe you don't need to know every single thing in the video. So if there's a stream or a longer video that you think has useful information that could be cut out and made into an easy tip, go ahead and leave us a comment below or shoot us an email to our support team at support at th3dstudio.com. So I'm gonna get back to it and hope you guys enjoyed this easy tip. Happy printing.